Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're going to be making a brand new custom. We have Twilight Sparkle here, and we're going to transform her into Ballora from Five Nights at Freddy's. I recently made the puppet using Rarity, and she turned out really cute. Have you seen that video? If you have, comment below. I watched it. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you'll be notified when my customs are out. Today we have Twilight Sparkle and we're using the Switch and Mix Fashions figure because her outfit completely comes off. So as you can see here, we can take off her skirt, we can take off her top, and even her shoes. So I think she'll be a really great figure for Ballora. Actually her hair even comes off and this is the wig that I chose for her. This one has her hair tied up on top of her head, very similar to Ballora. Alright, so let's get started. For this custom, I still want her to be recognizable as Twilight Sparkle, so I am going to keep her bangs. Uh, however, I'm going to take off these two strands on the side just to give it a more clean edge. So let's go ahead and do that using an exacto knife. And since this one is actually a wig, it's actually a little bit easier if I just take it off and cut it. There we go. Much cleaner. We're not going to change the color of Twilight's hair. However, I want to put some beads on top of her bun. The next thing we're going to do is repaint her body. I'm going to be using Lavender Blush. So I'm not really liking having her toes showing. So what I'm going to do is take a little piece of air dry clay and we're going to put it right on the bottom where her toes are and blend it into her legs. And I know I should have done this earlier but I didn't notice the toes until I started painting. So we're going to put the covers on and then we're going to repaint it. Now using lavender, I'm going to paint a few blocks of color on her body. This is going to be around her thighs. A little bit around her knee. And also her arms and elbows. Next, we're going to paint parts of her outfit blue. Using the same blue, we're also going to paint on her ballerina shoes. Now to add some details, we're going to add two little pom-poms to the top of her shoes. Using black, we're going to add a few more details to her body. For the skirt, I'm going to use one of Twilight's old skirts and we're going to paint this one purple. Now 
Then I'm going to paint the edges lavender. On the very bottom, we're going to glue some yellow pom-poms made out of clay. For our face, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to paint it with a layer of this light purple color. Next, we're going to draw a black line straight down the middle of the face. We're also going to do another line straight across the eyes. Now using blue, we're going to draw in her eyes. So her eyes are going to be oval shaped and they're going to be closed. Next, using black, we're going to draw in her eyelashes. And starting with black, we're going to draw in her mouth. Over the black using magenta, we're going to paint in her lips. And using blue, we're going to draw in her eyebrows. So these are going to be a little bit rectangular. Using magenta, we're going to add two circles on her cheeks. Alright everyone, so my Twilight Ballora is done. What do you guys think? So she was a lot of fun to make. I've never made a custom quite like this one. <laughs> I was afraid at first that she might turn out too scary, but after she's done, I think she looks okay. She, I don't think she's that scary at all. So here is an up-close look at her face. Of course, her eyes are closed and got these long lashes. And her face is divided into sections by these black lines. And so that you can see that her lips are actually split in half. Up here is her hair, and so we didn't change Twilight's hair much. We only cut off these two little strands on the side, and uh, we added some beads. And of course, we also added some earrings. Here is her body. So her body is actually kind of fun to make. It is kind of robotic, so she has these pieces in different colors, and her dress has these little pom-poms on the bottom of it. And here, the same for her shoes. She has little pom-poms on top of her feet. And here is the puppet or the marionette that I recently made. So now that I have two, I think I'm going to have to complete the set. What do you guys think? So let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my custom, and also which other characters I should turn the other ponies into. And if you have not yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!